Hey guys, Michael from Copper vs Glass, and in today's video, we're gonna be taking a look at the Lean Launcher. This is a really awesome new launcher that can replace any current launcher that you're using, and today, we're gonna to be looking at why. So, let's take a look. Okay guys, so as you can see here, I've got my original Google Pixel XL with the Pixel Launcher installed, so you've got everything that you would expect, like the swipe over to get to Google, and also the swipe up and down to get into the application drawer. So what you wanna do is head over to the Play Store, I think I've already searched for it, get the Lean Launcher, and then install the Lean Launcher. Now once you press on the Home button, you're gonna see that it looks exactly as you would expect it to from a Google Pixel 2-like launcher. So if we launch into this now, you can see there that it's pretty much loaded and you may not really see too much of a difference compared to the launch that I just had there a moment ago. Now you can see here that already it is asking me to swipe up. So again, you've got that swipe up to get into your application drawer, as you can see just here. But what you don't have is a swipe over into the Google Now feed. Now that is something that you can enable and that's going to be done through the settings themselves. So once you long press on your home screen, you can then get into the home settings. And as you can see here, you've got a ton of different options to choose from. Now don't get me wrong, this isn't gonna go as deep in customization as something like Nova Launcher or Action Launcher, but in regards to getting exactly what you need from a launcher, this pretty much does the job and it's super clean in terms of the interface. Now you do need to give it access in terms of notification dots. So we're just gonna enable that there, click on the launcher and allow. So that's gonna allow you then to get the Oreo style notification dots on any Android device. You've then got the at a glance feature. So what this is gonna be is the at the top of the screen here, if I just go back, enable that. You can see here that it's got the date here at the top. Now you can also enable that to have the calendar and also the weather as well. But as you can see here, you do need to have a companion app installed, which we're gonna get into in just a moment. You've also got the Google Now feed, which again does require a companion app. Now keep in mind guys that the way that Google has it set at the moment, you can't get any of these companion apps direct from the Play Store. You're gonna have to get them from the GitHub, which as you can see is just down here. If you click on this message, it actually takes you straight to the website where you can download all of the additional files that you may need. So what I'm gonna do is download everything additional now, get that all set up, and then I'll be back in just a second. So once you've got everything installed, you can see at the top there, you've got your at a glance feature, and you've also then got the Google Now Companion over to the side here, giving you all of the news updates, weather information, reminders, and things that you may have within the Google Assistant or within Google Now. Now the rest of the launcher itself, to be honest, is pretty standard for a launcher in 2018. You swipe up to get your applications, you've got them all here in alphabetical order, as you can see, you've got a Google search bar at the top, and then you've also got frequently used or app suggestions just at the top here. In regards to the actual settings themselves, let's have a look. So once you go down to your feed, you can see here that you've got display the Google app is turned on. You can turn that off if you wish to, and then you can also go through and change the search as well. So you can have the search bar enabled or disabled, and you can also change the search provider. Not really sure why you'd wanna do that, but you've got the option to do so there anyway. And you can also have extra padding and things, forced colors as well app search, display suggestions as well. So in regards to the options, they are quite good, but they are very minimal. You're not, like I mentioned, gonna get all of the customization features that you would with Nova Launcher, for example. This is just to get you a really clean look and feel to Android as Google intended. You've then got the look and feel options. So again, you can change the theme as well. So at the moment, I've got the theme set from wallpaper. So what that means is when I go back to my home screen, I've got a very light wallpaper here at the moment. So if I go into my application drawer, it's gonna have a white background to it. If you go into the settings, however, go to look and feel, and then go to theme and change it to dark, for example, when you then go back to your home screen and then go into your application drawer, it's automatically changed it to the dark theme. Now this is something that I actually like because sometimes I like having a really bright, vibrant wallpaper on my home screen, but I'm not a fan of the white background. I much prefer a darker background as it makes the applications pop just that little bit more. Heading back into the settings and back into the look and feel section, you can also do a dark search bar and also the app search bar as well. And you can also change the hot seat background in regards to what happens down at the dock. So you can have a gradient or a transparent or a solid color if you want to. You can also change the number of columns that you have and also rows as well. And you can also go into your icons as well and you can change how many icons that you're gonna have down the dock at the bottom of your screen. By default, it's gonna be five, but you can have down to three or up to seven, which is really awesome as well. And you can also, if you want to, change the icon size individually. In regards to the edit app sections, you can see here that you can hide applications. You can also hide the name of the application as well, and also reset anything that you want to as well. Now you can also change the icon shape if you wanted to. 
So you can have square, rounded, circle, or teardrop as well. And you can also have custom icon packs. Now that's something that I'm not necessarily a huge fan of with the Google Pixel launcher, is the fact that you can't install your own custom icons. However, with this, if I click on the Minimo icon pack, which at the moment is the only one that I've got installed, and then go back to my home screen, you can see here that it's going to change the icons to the Minimo icon pack, allowing you to have still a really clean look and feel to your launcher, but you can also add some customizability as well by changing the applications themselves if you want to in regards to an icon pack. And then back into the settings, we've got other settings as well. So you're gonna add an icon to your home screen if you install a new application, rotation, you can have the spring effect as well. So when you go into your application drawer and you actually move it about, you can see here that it springs ever so slightly when you get to the top and the bottom. So if you wanted to, you've got the option then to turn that on or off if needs be. You can also have a transparent navigation bar as well. You can lock the desktop, which means that you can't make any changes to it as well. And you can also double tap to lock as well. So when you're on your home screen, you can double tap on your screen and it will automatically lock your device, which is a really awesome feature to have. You've also got home screen action as well. So again, if you wanted to, you can change certain aspects of that for quick search, voice search, open the app drawer as well. So again, if you wanted to, you can have an extra button on the screen just to get a little bit more functionality out of the launcher itself if you wanted to. And just real quick guys, if you're wondering where I've got this really awesome wallpaper from, it's from an application called Wall Hub, and this is where I'm getting a ton of my wallpapers at the moment because they look really nice. If I just go into this one just here, you can see then that I'm gonna apply that to my home screen and lock screen as well. And then once I go back to my home screen, you'll see just how nice that looks. So again, I'm gonna have a link to that application down in the description below, along with everything else that I've covered in this video. But overall guys, Lean Launcher is a really awesome and clean launcher that looks good on pretty much any Android device. If you're looking for a stock Android or Pixel look and feel to your phone, then this is definitely the launcher to go for. Now I'm gonna have it linked in the description down below along with everything else that you may need to download in regard to companion apps as well. So again, that's gonna be in the description of this video. If you enjoyed this video, be sure to give it a thumbs up down below. And down there, you will also find the subscribe button. So if you're not already subscribed, now is a great time to do so. And also once you've done that, hit that notification icon so that you're notified any time that I post a new video here on the channel. If you've got any questions or comments, let me know in the comments section or on Twitter at Copper vs Glass. And I'm Michael and I will catch you guys in the next video.